Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news that today we have. Hey yo man, look, hey yo man, we might have a big breakup, man. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna talk about that, man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, like this is like it's a breakup we hear about almost every year though. You know what I'm saying? Uh we got um uh, yo, we got all this preg pregs, man. You know what I'm saying? Big big news right here, man. Um uh Puffy Son claiming gangs and recanting, man. And we also got uh Jonathan Major's girlfriend finally speaks in court, and it's as funny as you would imagine, man. Megan D. Stallion changing up her story, man. Um uh what happened with um George Floyd's killer and uh <laughs> we could, a little bit of trigger action, man. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you're feeling any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. Hey, yo, that notification bell is waiting for your tap. So go on and give it a tap. And the subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and tell that to you. Check this out, man. Yo, Fifth ain't gonna let up on Diddy, man. You know that, right? Fifth, like, Fifth wants Diddy to lose all his papers. Every single drop of it. You see what I'm saying? Look, look. Fifth wants Diddy to lose all his papers, man. You know I mean? Why? Because he does the 48, like, he has the 48 laws of power in him. You see what I'm saying? Look, law 15, crush your enemy totally. Law 23, concentrate your forces. Law 26, keep your hands clean. Law 28, move with boldness. Boldness strikes fear. Fear creates authority. You see what I'm saying? Hesitation creates gaps. Boldness obliterates the opposition. Law 31, you deal out the cards or the options. You see what I'm saying? You could be certain bonds of blood and guilt have been created. Listen, uh, 50 Cent recently posted concerning Diddy. This is what he posted. He said, um, it said, he posted a, a New York Times article that said, after sexual assault suits, are Sean Combs' empire and brand at risk? Fifth posted, no, nah, he'll be fine. He said, no, nah, he'll be fine. He has so much money when his corporate partners pull out, he'll just reach in his pockets and make it happen. You see how fast he paid Cassie? He's a real billionaire. He has cuff you money, guys. So cuff you. Then he said, did he do it coming soon? Look, look, law 37, create a spectacle. Law 40, hate the free lunch. Remember, remember Diddy trying to offer to take um, uh, uh, 50 cent shopping? You see what I'm saying? Look, law 40, 42, strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. You know what I mean? That, look, look, that's, that's the comments you see. You know what I'm saying? That you've been seeing with Revolt and all this stuff. You know what I mean? Look, 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 look. Law 47. Don't go past the mark you aim for, 50. You know what I'm saying? I'm almost positive he ain't, he like, that's the one he forgot. That's the one he forgot. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, yeah, he definitely keeping his foot on Diddy's neck, man. And it, ain't, and it really ain't looking good for, for, for the diddler neither, man. Yeah, and you know why? Because Diddy's son is out here dropping gang signs on the daggone internet. Can you believe that, man? See, his girl, I think it was his girl, some girl was grabbing all up on the man and she was recording him. And what did he decide to do? He decided to do this insanity. Hey, yo, take a look. Thank you, baby. GDK. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Look, look, look. Not a good look, man. I mean, like, what is what is what is you doing, bro? Like, I mean, <laughs> look, hey, you know what's the funniest thing? Like, your name is King Combs, right? You was born with a silver spoon in your mouth. Just like the other king, T.I.'s son. You know what I'm saying? Two people born with spoons in their mouths, man. So you don't gotta act like, you don't gotta do this gang stuff. That's so strange that these people named King, both are born with a silver spoon and both are acting like they wanna be gang members and stuff like that. It, look, it, he threw down, he, he, Oh gosh, this stuff be making me like, you know what I'm saying? Like I be thinking about it, I be like, I can't believe people be making these kind of decisions, man. Or everything that your father's going through, everything that Puffy is going through right now, and you thought it was a good idea to claim GDK? <laughs> uh man. Um yo, yo, check out what King Yella had to say to Diddy son. Hey Puffy son. I'm proud of you, man. Hey, y'all stop playing with me, man. I make niggas apologize, and I make niggas say they don't game bang, man. For real. But, no, for real, on a serious note, um, you was born with a silver spoon, y'all, man. Um, we can switch spots. If you want to be a game banger and let me be a, a, a millionaire, billionaire son, I'll take that, man. That's what's wrong with the world now, man. Motherfuckers want to live. Niggas born with money, they want to live the bad life. Growing up in poverty, coming from the struggle, we want the good life. 
I don't want to go. I don't want to gangbang, bro. I don't want to live like this. I want to look up on my shoulder. I don't want no ops, bro. I don't want none of this shit, bro. I want the bag so I can provide for my children, man. King Kong's, don't let that shit happen no more, bro. Don't let it happen no more, man. You got to do better, man. It's not a good look for the, you know, y'all got a lot going on, right? Exactly, like, this is exactly what we're trying to say. Like, what is what are you doing, man? Like, why would you do this? You see what your pops is going through. Why would you take the time to do this? And the girl that was recording, she, like, you, you, well, maybe it was on live, because maybe she had him on live. But even then, it's like, what are you, I mean, these, like, people, like, what's going on? Like, what's going on? You don't nobody know nothing? That's what Nino said, right? Then Nino said, don't nobody know nothing? He was asking a question about, did did, was there any information that people knew about what went down? I'm asking a question like, don't nobody got any sense? Listen, Diddy's son has uh, denied now that he's a gang member. He posted, I ain't affiliated with no gangs and I'm not a gang member. Because <laughs> that, look, look, that, them Rico police was making it, they was gearing up to come to the house. Oh, you a gang member and you got the money to be the, the leader? We can get you on a Rico. You know what it is. And you know, look, their feds are probably already, look, their feds are probably already watching anyway. So what's going to potentially happen? If the feds are watching and he did that, automatically you're affiliated with, you see what I'm saying? Oh, they got a, and then you know they probably already got all your, 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 your phones tapped. So they've been watching all your information anyway. And then they could just add on to all the people connected with, with Diddy's um, insanity, man. Uh, God, come, bruh. <laughs> Listen, listen, listen. Look, are y'all ready to be triggered? You want to be triggered right now? Yeah, we got a short video for today. You, you want to be triggered? Listen, uh, those of y'all that live in the Marcy Projects, y'all rent's about to go up. You know what I'm saying? Way up. Take a look. Uh -huh. Let's go get them, guys. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. <laughs> if you was in front of that woman and you tried to stop her to see if she okay, that windmill would have cuffed y'all up. You see what I'm saying? Look, is it me or was that kind of cringy? What was it about that video that made it so cringy? Hopefully it played. You know what I'm saying? And, and look, what was it about it that was so cringy? And don't be racist. Look, if her color was the only thing you found that that you found that make that cr cringy, then we're racist. You're like, what do you mean we? Listen, listen, listen. Look, look. What if she was light skinned? Would it be cool then for her to have done that? What if she was albino? Would it be cool then? Or is your problem her color? Look, what, look. What you think? Ain't no white people gonna go to heaven? So, so why can't they be in Marcy, son? Listen, I read a comment. <laughs> I read a comment of, uh, under that post. It, it said, "It said they should have did her like Hassan Campbell." I said, "Don't do that." You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do that. Don't do her. Like, don't do him like that. <laughs> Look, you saying they should have attempted to close her curtains? They should have turned her water off. They should have declined her payment. <laughs> listen, man. Listen. Um, is it is it shout out time? Because I'm I'm about ready. I'm about ready to be inside now. Uh, Y'all heard about the Mexican man that shivved the ex-police officer Derek Chauvin? Look, in case you forgot, Derek Chauvin is a disgrace of a human that kneeled on George Floyd's neck and murdered him on purpose in front of the world on camera. Buller Alert uh, posted the following. They posted, uh, let's see if I can pull it up here. According to ABC News, John Tursack told FBI agents interviewing him uh, after the assault that he attacked Chauvin on Black Friday. As a, sim as a symbolic connection to the Black Lives Matter movement, which garnered widespread support in the wake of Floyd of, of George Floyd's death. Um, let me see if I can read the actual story, because I know it didn't have more, more on that story. I mean, I know I didn't just have that. I mean, come on, bro. It goes like this. It goes. Um, come on, man. Can pull it up already. Damn. All right. It says the man who allegedly stabbed former Minneapolis uh, police officer in prison is said to have carried out the attack in a symbolic gesture of solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement. It goes, John Tursack, a former member of the Mexican Mafia, allegedly stabbed Chauvin 22 times while they were both incarcerated at the Tucson Federal Prison. Prosecutors claim that he stated that he would have fatally harmed Chauvin had correctional officers not intervened swiftly 
Tursak is currently facing charges of attempted murder, assault with the intent to commit murder, assault with a dangerous re weapon, and assault resulting in bodily injury. Tursak currently serving a 30-year sentence for crimes he committed while functioning as an FBI informant. That's right, he got stabbed by a snitch. Revealed that he had contemplated stabbing a police officer uh, convicted of causing the death of George Floyd. According, um, I, I lost my place. Damn, see? Where, where, we, where we at over here? Was not, was not. According to the criminal complaint, Tursak attacked Chauvin with an improvised knife with the intention of inflicting bodily harm and committing murder. Tursak informed investigators that he selected Black Friday, the, fo the day following Thanksgiving, as the date for his attack because it held symbolic significance for both the Black Lives Matter movement and the black hand symbol associated with the Mexican Mafia criminal organization. Tell me that ain't wild, man. Ain't that crazy? Now, um, uh, he was transported to the hospital for emergency medical treatment following life-saving measures performed by um, uh, facility employees, okay? Uh, Tursak uh, waived his Miranda rights and denied Wait, and denied any intention to kill Chauvin. So I guess he tried to like come back. Oh no, I wasn't trying to kill him. I wasn't trying to kill him. <laughs> listen, man. Listen, 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 listen. Feelings are not always good. Okay, feelings are not always good. Sometimes they fly in the face of what is right. That being said, I feel like I want to say, shout out to Mr. Tur Tursack. You see what I'm saying? Shout out to Mr. Tursack. And I do believe in forgiveness, and I also believe in justice. Look, with the with the justice system operating by a system of fairness, you know what I'm saying? An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, and a life for a life. And individuals operating with grace turning the other cheek. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Tursack, gracias. You're like, wait, aren't you a Christian? So I can feel look, I can feel this way. I'm not saying I'm right, but I can feel this way. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're a Christian don't mean you don't feel things. I may be wrong when I say that, but I feel like I want to say gracias because I do believe in justice. Real talk. Look, I don't want to take that man out to lunch every day with my tax money. You see what I'm saying? There are people that have not murdered that I don't want to take to lunch. Taxes is forcing me and you to take that man to lunch every day. You, look, you know what George Floyd had for lunch today? Exactly. So shut up. You see what I'm saying? You get mad. Oh, you're a Christian. You're not supposed to feel that way, man. <laughs> like, what do you want me to do, bro? I feel that way. So, so, so now what? Now what? My bad. <laughs> Listen, man. Uh, now, look, they let Derek Chauvin out the hospital and he was sent back to the same prison he was stabbed 22 times in. <laughs> yep. They, look, the inmates are like, look, you just, you just like one of us now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They talking like real demons. Look, you like you like one of us now. That's what it goes. Look, they gotta talk to Derek Chauvin like he the devil entering hell. Yeah, you one of us now, bro. <laughs> uh, I love, 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 love. this one might get you mad. Ready? This one might get you mad. Megan, listen. Um, someone has taken two clips of Megan the Stallion and put both of those joints together to say, look at Megan changing her story. I said, let me watch this video. This is what I saw. Take a look. Is so he scared. in the car shooting from the car, Megan? He is he... standing up over the window okay. shooting. Uh -huh. This nigga in the back seat. I'll get out the car. I'm done arguing. I don't want to argue no more. I'll get out. I'm walking away. This nigga from out the back seat of the car starts shooting me. Now, so they're saying Megan the Stallion lied, right? <laughs> and, and, when we watched Tory Lane, Tory was like, I'm definitely getting off. It's not even a question. And then he he went away and it was just like, yo, I believe that man. Like, yo, I don't think he like I don't think you did it, bro. But he was talking so boldly, like, man, I totally ain't do it. Trust me, watch. Watch me get off. And then he and then he then he showed OJ's glove and I was like, wait, 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 that don't look good. <laughs> when you showing OJ's glove not fitting, that make it look like you actually did it, bro. I said, This guy's reckless. And now they're giving him 10 years and they like, and we're not changing anything about it. Listen. Um, Megan said he was standing over the window, right? And then she said he was in the back seat. So you like, so wait, wait, wait. Was he standing over the, the, the back window or was he in the back seat? Y'all saying that like the man can't stand in the back of his car. Y'all saying that like he can't stand in the back of his car and still be in the back seat. 
Y'all ain't seen him do the freestyle. Y'all ain't seen him do the freestyle where he had a um he was sitting down and then when he stood up, they, they said like he was like the same size. It was crazy. It was crazy. Anyway, let me do my shout outs real quick. I ain't gonna be before you long, man. What's my time looking like, man? Cause oh 14 minutes? Yeah, we got a short video today, man. Yesterday we gave you a long one. Today we're giving you the short one. You know what I'm saying? I think. Uh shout out to who we got over here, man. Um uh okay, look, 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 party. Party over here. Party over here. Party over here. Party over here said, wait, 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 before we get to party. We got, we, we, we got a couple. Maybe I asked about me, said, yo, how does a video with no views, according to YouTube, have over 30 likes? You can't even like a video without clicking on it. <laughs> I'll be, yo, man, this is what, like, this, these are shenanigans that we be dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Go on and hit that like button, because y'all know shenanigans will ensue. Uh, <laughs> um, Pina, Pina, Pina Zero said, uh, to Beyonce with your little 40 million pocket change. Get your coin up. <laughs> Don't talk to that man's wife like that. Uh, Brooklyn Rain. Brooklyn Rain said, I love how you put humor and positivity and Bible verses in between this chaos. Oh, yeah, 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 man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, we need it, man. We look, if they like, if you're in a dark room and somebody light a candle, where your eyes gonna be drawn to? The light. You see what I'm saying? Um, although, mad people, they say they act like they hate it. Uh, like I come, I, t- I spoke about Jesus two days ago, right? Couple videos, folks was losing their mind like Jesus done hurt them or something like that. He ain't did nothing to you, bro. He woke you up. He gave you all the good things that you have in life. You see what I'm saying? And you mad at him? You mad at me for talking about him who never hurt you? I mean, what's up with that? Uh, is there demons that was agitated? That's what it is. Miss Lynn Williams said, "Glad I never actively pursued being a rap artist. Poetry is so much safer." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poetry is so much safer, ain't it? Uh, who else we got over here? Phoenix. Phoenix Soul Rise Up said, yo, okay, yes. The little boy made me smile as well as the gingerbread man. Thanks for that smile, Celeb. Much appreciated. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt. You know, we like to make you smile. You know what I'm saying? Um, Tamara Stone said, <laughs> with, a, with a whole face in the picture, porn addiction does cause erectile dysfunction. My fiance was addicted to porn. And when he came crying, when he came crying back to me, telling me he couldn't get his penis up, I died. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. You ain't the only thing that died. She said he had gone to the hospital and got a prescribed drug. I told a fool he jack off too much. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what happens, man. That's what happens. That's what happens. That's what happens, man. You know what I'm that's why y'all like. That's why y'all, you know, you got y'all got to stop. Y'all got to stop this. Y'all got to stop this madness. <laughs> and then y'all don't see the GTA trailer coming out. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a disaster. When when that GTA six come out. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, I don't even know if we can show the GTA clips of the trailer. If we can show clips of the GTA 6 trailer, go on and show it. But I can see Rockstar blocking it. Because block, Rockstar don't... Actually, show it. Uh, Sauce, if you can find GTA 6 trailer, you can go on and show it. Because that joint is hot. I can't wait to play it. Um, uh, my bad. Where, where am I at over here, man? I'm supposed to be... Um, all right. Uh, Matt Beasy said, yo, shout out to the Mexican co- that took out... Uh, o- the officer who took George Floyd... Um, Stabbed, whatever. I th- I know what you're trying to say. He said the fact that he did it on Black Friday, ensuring we black folk don't forget every year Black Friday will represent more than just a day of discount. <laughs> um, I feel you. You see what I'm saying? I feel what you're saying. I'm not saying you're right, but I'm saying I felt it. Uh, and lastly, party over here. Party over here is a is a male woman, male man, male woman, whatever you want to call him, delivery service person. Uh, she said, party over here said, I'm still out being Santa's helper delivering mail and packages for y'all this Christmas. Say a prayer for all the mail carriers out in the dark this season. People robbing and stealing. This is get, getting dangerous. Love y'all. Let me get back to this mail. Yeah, yeah, man. Prayer. Prayers up for our, our people that are delivering packages, man. Real talk. And my party over here. And um, be sure to leave a little, like, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a table with some, like, some snacks for the people that are delivering your packages, man. Because it's that season. So make sure you leave out the table with the snacks if you come to the house there's a there's a there's a table there's snacks there that's my house be respect the joint that's my house i do that uh and lastly d rockman my man said yo so you preaching today you mean yesterday he said i refell in love with proverbs because of you thank you and keep spreading the word yeah no doubt man you know what i'm saying proverbs favorite book and first john and the gospel of john you know what i'm saying uh, um and james uh I right, let's get right back to it. Rapper's bad boy, yeah, man. I don't got all day. <laughs> Lastly, look, look. Warren Oliver said, yo, we got to talk about the girls with the rolls and the dildos, celeb. Not just men watching porno. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, that's true. That's true. Because Cat Williams told y'all ladies, y'all, y'all just, 
how can I say this? A man cannot match what you, that that dildo can do. So it can jack up, it could jack up your your member, and then now your man is not gonna be able to do what what those objects can do. You gotta tell your man what to do to do the, the rose thing. You know what I'm saying? Like tell your husband. Not some rando. Okay. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me let me get right back to it. Cause you know what I'm saying? I ain't mean to go there. Thanks a lot, Warren. You know what I'm saying? Now everybody looking at the channel like, I got kids. Listen, sorry. You know what I'm saying? You should have, you should have, as soon as I started reading the comment, you should have went right past it. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right, look, 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 look. let's get right back to it. Um, all right, look, Sherelle Brown, I got to get you tomorrow. Oh, Ashanti. Y'all heard that um, she's, she's pregs. Yeah, 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 yeah. They saying she pregs now. She pregs. The baby is Puffy's. Ah, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. It's not Puffy's. It's Nelly's. You know what I mean? Uh, they're saying that the um, the rumors are said to be true. That Ashanti is pregs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with Nelly's baby. I know you're like, well, wait, how old are they? Nelly's about 49. Ashanti's about 43-ish. Um, Nelly said, yo, we cool again. I think it surprised both of us. It wasn't anything that was planned. We both were pretty much doing what we do. <laughs> okay. Uh, he said, but sometimes being separate, you understand one another more. You could be like, well, yo, let me uh, exactly see maybe what they see. We all can be defensive sometimes in our own relationships. We know we were we wrong, but we're going to stand on it. You know what I mean? But we all are victim to that. Um, I don't really know what you're talking about, bro. But uh, let, let, but congratulations. Y'all going to have a baby. Um, and, you know, I, honestly, I, I think... Um, I think children are a fantastic reason to get married and start a family. You know what I'm saying? Um, 100%. I think children are an excellent reason for that. You know what I mean? But Because, you know, I mean, uh, it's the beginning of a family, man. You know, I, I got I got sidetracked, man. You know what I'm saying? My neighbor. I love, 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 love. Let's get, let's, 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 uh, and finally, oh, so family. Family is important. Well, you know what's, what's not cool? The breakup of family. Check this out. Cardi B may have very well outgrown some of the members of her family, baby. Okay? That's right. Look, it may be that her and Offset have called it quits. <laughs> you're like, don't do this. Like, look, you're like, you're like, they do this every year, don't they? Perhaps. The lovely Cardi B posted a very cryptic message. They always get cryptic on us, don't they? That's why I don't be believing none of this stuff. Because when you get cryptic with it, no. But anyway, she said, she said... You know what? You, you know when you just outgrow relation, outgrow relationships. I'm tired of protecting people's feelings. I gotta put myself first. That's 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 what she said, man. This wait a minute. This nigga don't bump into my car, man. He you know, he on a skateboard. He gonna sit there crashing on my car, man. Got me feeling like NBA young boy over here, yo. Uh, where we at over here, man? So yeah, 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 yeah. She says, she says she gotta, she gonna put herself first, man. Ain't that the, ain't that the number one rule for things not working well? Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. Um, how can I say this? Look, 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 look. look. Let me explain something about long-term relationships, all right? And I don't know if this applies to Cardi's situation or not, but this is this is for you, okay? Um, because we just using the rappers as a backdrop, really, just to talk to you. Listen, some people are addicted to the novelty of new relationships, right? So when a new becomes old, they get anxious thinking they fell out of love and then they want to run to the next relationship. But it's the newness that they're chasing. You know what I'm saying? But the novelty is not what the long-term relationship train runs on. You know what I'm saying? That real long-lasting joint is steady, it's smooth. You know what I'm saying? Periods of stability, boredom, excitement, laughs, all that. You know what I mean? But if you ain't never seen that, then you get nervous when the boredom hit thinking you fell out of love. You understand what I'm saying, man? Anyway... Um, back to Cardi. Look, someone took time out their busy schedule to notice, right? That both Cardi B and Offset have unfollowed each other. Look, I never could get this. You mean to tell me you take the time out your busy day to look up information like who unfollowed who so you could come and tell up? Uh oh, wait. I guess I do that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, forget it. Carry on. Yo, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Do you think this is, uh, you know, this is a ploy just to uh, grasp some attention again? Because they always doing that, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, uh, sometimes they do this and then the song comes out. I, I noticed that. There's like, with the ebbs and flows of artists, uh, uh, generate news, then... Oh, wait, wasn't I supposed to tell you about Jonathan Mates? Okay, let me tell you about this real quick. This is ridiculous. Okay? Last thing, last thing I'm going to tell you. Last thing. Okay? Jonathan Majors' ex-girlfriend played a recording in court where the actor demanded her to behave like 
Coretta Scott King or Michelle Obama. You like this ain't real. Hey, look, man. Look, look, look. It goes like this. It goes like this. During the second day of trial, this is what the shade room posted. During the second day of trial, Jonathan Major's um, assault trial, his ex-girlfriend detailed what happened in a past relationship. Okay? His ex-girlfriend, Grace Jabari, claims that the first that Jonathan Majors first became angry with her in 2021. And then she described it. Okay? She said in the incident, she was gonna meet Jonathan Majors dogs, right? Jabari said Majors gave her specific instructions for behaving around the dogs. During the incident, she told Jonathan how an ex had a dog. And she said Majors became angry and raised his voice. Jabari told the jury, it was the first time I felt scared of him. Close quote. Then she continued her testimony. You like, wait, 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 that what? Yeah, yeah, that's what she said. Um, look, 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 look. We all know. We all, like, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, that's what come with it. <laughs> and then she said, she said, and then she said, she described the time in June when she went to a festival and she had poor cell phone reception. And Jonathan Majors was, quote unquote, not very nice about it. <laughs> Close quote. Can you believe this? See, this is what I'm saying. That's what come with it. That's what come with it. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. You, y'all know what I'm saying. Uh, this is ridiculous. Uh, she had poor cell phone reception and he was not very nice about it. <laughs> Grace Jabari, you're mean. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be, ain't she mean? Trying to, trying to, put this man through the ringer by saying he raised his voice gosh if she met me I'd be in jail let us know your thoughts in the comments below be sure to like be sure to subscribe thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source your source for celebrities